Hello! I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we are going to talk about a special area of customer service repairs. Let's talk about repairs, an act of customer service, also known as, well, your job. It's that simple. Your level of repairs that you offer where you work will be somewhere along a continuum like this. At the absolute bare minimum, you're going to be able to replace a screw in a frame that's loose or missing. You're going to be able to replace nose pads, a couple of different varieties, different styles, screw on, push on, and most likely keep some temple ends. When the puppy chews them, you slide off the chewed up one, put on a new pair, send a customer or a potential customer on their way. On the other end of the repair spectrum, you've got a true repair shop. They repair, they refurbish, they fabricate, they weld, someplace like Tiffany at Northwest Frame Repair. Now, everybody else is going to fall somewhere in between, and we have got you covered. Other videos. We show you how to use the screw extractor, do epoxy glue repairs, how to restring a plastic semi-rimless frame, how to do a spring hinge fix, a temporary one. We cover all about nose pads, figure eight liner, how to rebuild a three-piece mount, how to restring semi-rimless, extending temples, resizing a lens, customizing a pair for a helmet, and lens washer. Repairs are like making glasses. You're an optician. If there is an edger where you work and you're wearing an optician badge or have a license on the wall, well, then you should be making glasses or certainly be able to make a pair of glasses. Opticians fix glasses. Period. You really can take great pride in a good repair. You guys know I hate the warm fuzzy stuff. But this is one of those cases where someone may come into your store literally unable to see because their glasses are in pieces and they walk out being able to see again. I can see! I can see! I have, le I can I have legs! That should make you feel pretty good and it's again part of being an optician. Opticians are in business. They are not in healthcare. So try to think about it that way. I know from experience that the gift of a $2 nose pad can turn into $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 over time. Use your optician's spidey sense. So you'll learn when you're being taken advantage of or when you have the opening to do a repair job to build or start to build the relationship for a customer for life. We had a huge 55 and over community built literally across the street from where I used to work. Tons of new people coming in the door with little fixes. I would do them, I'd do brand new nose pads. And while I'm thinking of that, let's hop over to Studio B for a moment. Ooh, welcome to Studio B for Don't Be Silly, Hasty, Cheap. This is a time to win hearts and minds. They really mean that. It is a pair of glasses, so we always do a pair of nose pads. We never replace one nose pad. And or temple ends, if the right one got chewed off by the puppy, well, you replace the right one and the left one. Also, while you have that pair in your hands, generally back in the lab, take your time and check everything. 
This should become second nature. It's almost something that your hand should just automatically be doing when you have a pair of glasses in your hand. Check everything on that pair. Check both eye wire screws, hinge screws, standard alignment. Check, make sure that neither lens is popping out. Look, look at that pair of glasses. If something needs to be fixed, fix it. it should become second nature. I had a habit of giving almost every pair, generally you look, somebody's been wearing them for, for a while, and these are usually a little splayed. Just grab your round pliers or your soft, soft rounds and just give them the tiniest, tiniest little tweak in. A tiny little bit of a tweak in. You're gonna feel better to that person. Probably gonna give them a little tiny, just, I just give it a tug, just that, just that much in. They're gonna feel that little bit different. It's like, wow, this guy actually did something back there. Bend, 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 bend. For goodness sake, clean them carefully. I think it's good lens cleaner, soft cloth, clean them all up. If they're really nasty when you're taking that nose pad off, get out the toothbrush and the soft soapy water, clean them all up, take them apart, make them look good again. If the case is chewed up and broken, the hinge, the inside shell is popping out, well, put them in a new case, put them on a nice cloth. This is the time you under promise, you over deliver, but when you come back out of that lab with that pair that you have taken apart, cleaned, tightened all the screws, put in standard alignment, okay? You mention it, say, hey, you know, I tightened those up for you. They should feel a little better. They're all cleaned up. I changed both nose pads. Actually throw on some new temple ends for you. It should be in really good shape, okay? Mention it, good thing. Under promise, over deliver, hand back that job, clean, aligned, tightened up. Give them back a pair of glasses better than the ones they bought eight months ago at the discount place down the road. That is what being an optician is about. That is what will drive that customer to come and see you next time they need glasses. Something to watch when you are talking about doing repairs is setting realistic expectations. You may say, sure, I can do that. I would be happy to. I do those repairs when we have some downtime or I'm busy right now, I can get to it later. You may need to leave or wait for the repair. It's not unrealistic. When we are talking about repairs, follow the policy, follow the rules, follow the charges of the company that you work for. You gotta have your job, you gotta pay your bills, you gotta put food on the table. If the company insists on charging $2 per nose pad, well, charge the $2 per nose pad. Repairs are a critical, important part of being a competent, good optician. Build that skill set, build your toolbox, get good at it, and repairs can lead to thousands of dollars in sales. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching us on Facebook, please do give us a like. Watching us on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. It really does help us out. Make absolutely certain that every lens going back into that frame that you have repaired comes from Laramie K. And I will see you again next week. It's super crazy, important, most important. Oh, Thank you.